Hello everybody, Adam here with another JavaScript application programming video lesson. In this lesson you can learn some really cool aspects of how JavaScript can manipulate the attributes and properties of your HTML elements. And you'll get a cool little application for your website forms to make you look more elite. Now working with JavaScript is a really big part of making your HTML and HTML5 a lot more dynamic and bring it to life. Alright, so here's the finished product of what you'll be learning how to create. You'll have a password field in your form just like normal and somebody goes to type in their password. And then what we created was a show password characters button. You'll see this in like some high-end software that you'll use on your Windows or Mac machine. Sometimes they'll let you see the characters. And then when you see the characters, the button changes and says hide characters. So you hide them and you show them. Hide them and show them. Because the person might be alone and they want to see exactly what the password characters they are typing in because this might be confusing to some people who knows okay you can just open a new HTML file and we'll start with our HTML so let's pop in the first line in the first line you can see we just have the word password colon there and then we have an input element that is set to type password and it has an ID of you pass and the name is user pass so this ID you pass is how we're going to talk to it through JavaScript. We press Control S and F12. We'll see that we have a password field there that gives us the normal little black dots. Now the goal is to have a little button on the side. So let's put a little button now, and then we'll put in the JavaScript to make it all tie together. Okay, let's put the button right under it, so it's right off to the right of it. Let's put this up here where it belongs. Okay, this is another input, and you can see that this renders out a button. So if I press F12 you can see there's a button there if I type in my characters it doesn't do anything yet because I haven't put any JavaScript on the page uh, this function called toggle password so I'm gonna put that function called toggle password now so when this button is clicked there's functionality that happens that affects both of these elements through JavaScript I'll go right on top of this first line and I'll pop in my JavaScript opening and closing tag now we need this function toggle password to be created so let's go up top here and type in function toggle password open close parentheses open curly brace go down a couple of lines close off your curly brace you have a nice function nest to code within now the first thing inside of the function is we want to target this ID of you pass and this ID of toggle button that way we can access those elements through their ID so that's what these two lines do this first line creates a variable called you pass and that's equal to document target element by ID user pass or you pass that's the ID of this element then the same thing for the toggle button we target this toggle button ID so now we can affect those elements through JavaScript more easily just by using these little words here instead of this whole line of document target element by ID every time that we want to affect something now under these two lines you want to set up an if and else condition statement so we'll type in if open close parentheses open curly brace go down a couple of lines close curly brace type in else open curly brace and then go down a couple of lines close curly brace so there you have an if else condition statement set up and ready to go what I want to do is see if the user pass so I'm gonna grab that user pass dot type I can access the type attribute and evaluate to see if it's equal to text and then I can just put a little note here for myself to be sure that and by default when it loads up it's going to be type of password and you can do it either way you want you can say if you pass dot type is equal to password then you run code here if type is password but I'm just going to do it the other way around it really doesn't even matter all right now let's put a similar line in here and we're ready to go let's just change this to password so this code will run here if the type is password so really the first time around this part of the if and else condition statement will execute and then the second time this part will and then so on and so forth you'll see what I mean actually I'll just change that evaluation around so nobody gets confused about what we're doing so if you pass dot type is equal to password then we'll run that code here for that evaluation and then the else will do the opposite. So the first thing we want to do is type in you pass dot type and we're going to change the type of that field is equal to and we can just type in between double quotes or single quotes you can type in text. So you're going to change it from a password type to a text type field and that way all of the characters will show 
that were all little dots. And the next line down, you also want to be sure that you target the toggle button's value property or the value attribute right here. So instead of saying show password characters, you want it to say hide password characters to make them security again, the little black dots. So you have the have the button change a little bit too. If you're going to have the field change up, the button has to change. And you'll see why. Now we can just take those two lines, press control C and go down to the else condition press control V and paste them in and then change this to password and then let's change this to the word show again alright so this is the evaluation if the user password type is password when they click that little button we're gonna change the type to text so they can see all of the characters that they're typing in and then we're gonna change the, the little toggle button to say hide the characters again to become little black dots again so while it's text and they can see all of their characters clearly if they were to hit hide password characters then this else condition will run and then we'll have user pass type is going back to password to secure it again and make the little black dots okay so let's see if we have a working application let's press F12 and I'm gonna type in my password blah 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 show password characters and there it goes so if I type in Adam is dorky. See, I can hide and show those text characters. So by default, when the user comes to your form and they're filling in their password, they happen to be by themselves somewhere and they want to actually see the characters that they're typing in, they can just press show and then it shows the characters and you see the button it says hide. So when I press hide, the button turns to show again. So the button's dynamic, the field's dynamic, and everything is cool. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed that one, and I'll have this little scripty-poo available at developphp.com.